Hello, kiddos. Good morning or good afternoon, whenever this is that you listen to it. Let's get back to Genesis chapter 2, and today we're going to talk about work. Ha <laughs> ha! What everybody loves to do, work. Okay, let's see what the Bible has to say. Okay, so the last time we saw the garden with all the rivers, remember that? And the beautiful plants and trees and And whatnot. Well, this time the Bible says in verse 15, then the Lord God, hang on, and the and the Lord God took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden. Okay, so this is telling the story from a different perspective, at a different time, in a different way, but it's the same story. Okay, put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. Dress a garden? What does that mean? That means to take care of the garden, keep it neat and uh, all arranged and make sure everything's in the right place. I don't know exactly how it was back in that beautiful garden. What kind of work exactly was it? Could he rearrange things as he wanted to? I don't know. But there was obviously some work to do to keep that garden looking good. And so God gave man work. And work was good because everything was good at that time. Everything was good. And so giving him work to do was a good thing. So it is a great thing that your daddy works and he goes, he has to spend a long, uh, long hours away from home. But that's part of God's plan because he is working to provide food for the table and pay all the bills. And he is doing what God wants him to do. So work is good. And if you have chores that your mommy gives you to do every day, don't don't think, oh, I don't want to do chores. I'm tired of... No, say that is work that I can do. I can help the family. Maybe it's feeding the dog or watering the plants or getting the mail or I don't know. It, there's all kinds of different chores that you could do and in the house as well as out of the house. And so whatever chore that you get from mommy or daddy, those are good things. That is good work, teaching you to be responsible, teaching you to be obedient, to be punctual, and just to do things right. That's life. And when parents give their children chores to do, they are being good parents. So You thank your mommy and daddy for for giving you chores that you can do, and they don't have to do them because you do it, and you'll do it well, okay? So that's good. So God put the man in the garden and gave him work to do. And then uh, it says, And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. Okay? So he said, You can eat anything you want of all the trees, all the fruit, Everything there that is in the garden you can eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. So there was one tree, there was one out of all of the many, many trees, maybe hundreds and thousands of trees, there was one that they could not eat the fruit of it. He said, no, don't do that. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. So he said, don't eat. Because if you eat, you will die. So God gave them rules. Uh, Well, actually gave them one rule in this case, one negative rule, one no rule. And that was, don't eat of this tree. Well, we don't really like to have rules many times. And it seems like in in our house and in our yard, there are so many rules that so many things we can't do sometimes. And sometimes we get upset And we have a bad attitude, and that's wrong because rules are good. And even negative no rules are very good for us, and many times they are to save our lives, in fact. When there's a line in the middle of the road and your car is supposed to stay on your side of the line, it is is a no to cross that line or to go through a stoplight or to go out and walk on the road, these are no's in your life that your parents have maybe put in, in place. Don't go to that pasture. Stay on this side of the ro- of the fence. Those are good things. That they, they are good rules. They are no rules, but they're good. And that is the way life is. And as you go, as you grow up, you'll find that there are all kinds of other no rules in life. But they are there in God's plan 
for us to protect us. And that's what it was here for this man, uh, for Adam and Eve in the garden. Okay, well, let's let it go at that. God bless you. Love you. Goodbye.